Hello guys, welcome back. I just want to stop in here to tell you guys why I haven't been posting. I have been sick with something. I don't know what's going on, but I haven't even been having the energy to get through my days. It has been so difficult, guys. So even today is going to be trying because I had to cancel all of my hair appointments last week which i thought i was going to be able to bring you guys some videos at least when i don't have clients you know like with my daughter i haven't even had the energy to comb her hair like i don't know this is going on the second week i think i'm about to have to reinforce the rules with doing hair that people are going to have to wear their mask or something because i can't be down like this i just cannot like i don't have no energy to do and it just calms throughout the day randomly also i have seen that i have gained a lot of uh, subscribers and i just want to say thank you to each and every one of you i have at least been trying to respond to your comments at least to just show you that i am active because the goal was to post a video every two to three days it's been like 10 days i have really 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 not been feeling my best on top of still having to go to work you guys so i at least want to come in here to let you know that I don't want to set a bad impression because I haven't been here doing videos. There has been days where I actually took my camera out to do videos and I just didn't have the energy to film. So I'm so sorry to you guys, but hopefully I'm, my body is fighting it and I'm pushing through it so that I can get back to this because I've been thinking about posting videos all throughout the day. And I didn't want to post any recycled uh, content. I don't want to get in the habit of doing that. So, <sighs> y'all see, my hair ain't even done, y'all. I, I should have been to this. I, I'm just not feeling well at all. I don't know what's going on. I can't even, I don't really get sick. So, I can't even begin to tell you guys what i feel like and then on top of that i do have clients today so i just gotta push through take an appointment at a time because i just i'm out of it y'all i'm just so sorry i'm out of it and i guess something is going on because i see a lot of youtubers have been sick y'all please stay safe uh-uh that's still pretty good all right. I put on all these clothes. I probably gotta put a fan. Okay. Um, but it also didn't help that they lift the fact that they don't have to wear a mask here. Like they lifted it in school and they turned right back around and lifted it on the bus, y'all. So oh my gosh. <sighs> I just feel like I'm going to top it over. But this is going to be just a really, really short video because, like I said, oh, I got bad stuff on my eye. Like I said, I'm just really, really not feeling my best, okay? Um, I will try to catch some footage today while I'm doing hair. But if you see that I'm not as talkative in the video, I at least want to put this video out here for you guys to know what's going on. And, um... Um, I'll play some music and stuff for you guys so I'm going to be trying to smile and push through it as I always do but I pray that each of you guys have a very good Sunday you guys have a blessed day you know whatever you're dealing with I'm off on uh, Sunday, Tuesday and Wednesday Technically, we didn't because we did spring break with, I would say with Georgia because that's when we went down there. That was on their spring break. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, so. When? Um, 
Sometimes you just don't have the energy to fuss at them. You just be like, just yeah, gone on. I do not blame her. Now, I've been going to sleep early, too. But sometimes I, I don't. Sometimes I try to stay up. Really? You know how that is. Yeah. It, it, anytime you send them somewhere, it's like that. Like, Who? Who is that? Her? Oh, I'm probably just gonna do something quick because I'll be off again on Tuesday. I'm just gonna wash it really good and do something like a twist out or something. Cause she really don't even like to get her hair done. And normally I add hair cause the texture of her hair it ain't gonna last if I just braid her hair. Yeah. So how old do you be doing her hair? I try to do it. Girl, it sometimes be weekly, then sometimes it's bi-weekly. It depends on if I have hair in it. Now, I don't force it on her because she don't like it, but I be so busy. Like, most of the time, I just let her on our off day just let her wear it out. And then I'll braid it. It'll last, like, two weeks. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. It's not bad, though, because she you can... You really can wear braids based on how you want. Because, like I said, I don't really do hers as often as I would like to. But it don't never be, like, terrible, you know? But that's a month's worth of growth, though. So that's about right. And then it's just it's so easy because I don't to wake up. Yeah, it, it is. I knew you told me you was getting a baby because the last time you had wanted to come, you told me you had to go get him. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, I, I just got him the pressure because I've been saying that I want to go get him. I want to go get him because I'm like, time is just taking, like, babies away. He do not like, know me, nothing. Like, so. How was he when he saw you? Girl, he was looking at me like, oh, it's just the way you. Girl, he No. Eat, like, he like his cereal. He was not taking children from me. He would not come to me. Nothing. I was like, well, we're going to have a hard time. Babe. <laughs> she said when she went and got the baby, he acted like he didn't know her. Yeah, he was, he was like, who is this lady? <laughs> My niece was trying to get him to come to me. Girl, he was like that. Girl, what happened? You didn't, your feelings wasn't hurt, wasn't Because I was sensitive, girl. Mine just make me cry for every little thing. Every little thing. I said, we're going to have to get together. Go okay. It's good he was with them though, cause you probably needed that break. Yeah, you know? I did. I did. You needed that break because Michael probably is a lot, cause you know they have a lot of energy at that age. And that's why he think he owned me with him. He think he wanted a kid. Yeah. Getting jobs from girls. I'm so scared. I'm trying to boy have a helmet and everything. Cause I'm so scared. Why for him to fall? Yeah. But you know what though? How you got a lot of space, so he probably loves that. I, I feel like he give you more space, but that's just got so much stuff. But that's why I'm trying to put stuff away from him. Um, I didn't give away so much clothes. It's like, like I told my sister, I was like, don't. Have no clothes that can't fit up because it makes no sense. It's just gonna be pointing, it's gonna be in the way. What you think it passed? Everything he couldn't fit. Of course, when I had to go through all those clothes when I came back, but this lady, she went a call, she um, she um, had a baby, mm -hmm. so that worked out perfectly. Can't make take all of this stuff, and that's that. I, I said that I wanted to um, do full time. I, where I'm at now, I could make full time work. It just would be like one of those stepping out on faith type things. And there's just sometimes chaos come with it, but you know, you just. Yeah, but you know what? Like that, it's unfair, but just like moving here for myself. Like, I just took a leap of faith. See, because I did the same thing you did. I came by myself. Yeah.
So wait, no one's three, right? Mm-hmm. You can start school next. No, go around, right? Next to you. If you was if we was in Georgia. He was started at four, right? They actually start at three. Sometimes they might have to do pre-K twice. No, it's like head start pre-K then um because head start get them a head start. So it's like head start pre-K and then kindergarten. But in some places what don't have head start is pre-K twice, then kindergarten. Because some some people have pre-K three, pre-K four. Okay. But to me, it's pointless because if you work like we do. You don't have time to go pick them up at 12 o'clock. They only get them four hours a day, so it don't even be. But the people that are like stay-at-home moms just need that little break, then yeah, it works out for them. But for me, I'm like, mm, no, it don't work. So I, um, because Katie was, when we was in Texas, she was uh, pre-K three. No, pre-K four. It was one of the two. Because I hadn't had my daycare and stuff set up. So. Really? Yes. Because, um. What ended up happening for us, I ended up, we ended up taking her out because he was working and I didn't have the car to be able to just go to the school and get her. It was really making the days long trying to just do all of that for four hours a day. So I was like, yeah. So it worked out of my favor because I ended up putting her in daycare because they had a pre-K program. Okay. So when she got out of daycare and graduated, she went straight to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. But it's different based on the state. Yeah, because this thing, Jordan was here in school. And then she was in school for like a month and a half. And then they ran a report. And they realized her birthday. Was late. Yes, they told me to come pick her up, girl. Um, they really doing everything, test, work, homework, everything. They really go out their way to do that too. Yeah, I was kidding. I had to put my job and everything. And that becomes a cycle for people, girl, that have kids. Like you be having a it be a cycle. You work so good then and then when it don't work you gotta leave your job. Cause I went through that with Jaden and Kaylee for a while. I ended up having to take a job where I had to be there at 5 in the morning, mm -hmm. but I was getting off at 3 something, but it was a warehouse job. It was a lot on me. I used to go to work at 5. Um, He sleep really good on me. <laughs> How is it in New York with people that braid and braid children here? It's it is. It's a high demand. Mm -hmm. Girl, I can't believe you left, but I mean, you've been there your, most of your life, so That's all I know. you was ready, probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, nothing else, but I still say that's home. But when I do get out there, I'm ready to come back home. Really? I want to eat. So, so, yeah, right now, do you feel like you'll be here forever? No. Even when I was closing on 
when I was closing on my house, the lawyer was like, this is not your last stop. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I was like, how do you know? He was like, I'm going to just see you in your face. This is not your last stop. Oh. I was trying to figure that out the other day, too. I was like, hmm. I don't know, I don't know why Norway is still on my mind. Where is that? Girl, in a whole other country. Sweden? Yes. Why? Because Oprah, when I was younger, I seen the episode of Oprah, and she said they were doing a, uh, like a story. Mm -hmm. I on Norway. It's the best place to live. Which direction is that? Behind no, us? I don't know where that is. Cause I, I, I was about to ask you about Canada. A lot of people go to Canada. They say the crime is not, huh? You can eat off your Really? Yeah, all my family lives out here. In Canada, you know that's where everybody's at. I think I'm just tired of the states myself. Not even tired of it. You just want to. Some people. I think I think in Canada too, college is free. I think medical um is free out there too. In Norway it is. When I was watching something, you get a whole year off. Dad's getting a year off too. And here we get what three weeks. And see, yep, and see when I was um, cause I listen to a lot of people and I follow um this girl or well, lady. Name Lady Bling now. I know a lot of people probably know her, but she um she's in a camper right now because she said she got tired of surviving. She just want to live, and she was saying how like, it's a lot to try to maintain being in the house. And you know, I just like to look at life from other people' perspective too. And I was like, oh, like you know, I do feel like I just been surviving and not you living. <laughs> Yes. No. Where did you find her phone? She's on. She got like a YouTube thing too. See. She's on the road with It's just more promising, I believe, girl. Cause you know, at, girl, it's a whole thing in the backside from what they say. But you know what, like, at least you you know that when you need to make a change or you want to do something. Because some people don't even, they just live in the moment, you know. But I feel like you should always want better because it's so much that the world can offer, you know. Like, when you get your money and stuff up. That's why I just want to be successful. Because I do. Yeah, because... I do envision how I want to live. Like when I go to Target and I see stuff, I be like, man, I'm just ready to live the life that I deserve. Just like, pick it up and not even think twice about the price. Yeah, like the, not even the life you deserve. It's like the financial freedom. I think everybody wants financial freedom, which is not a lot to ask for, you know? Because some people be out here just traveling. Not on the weekend, just traveling and living their life. It's very motivating. Yes. One thing, too, I don't like that a job demands you to be somewhere, you know? Like job demand you, oh, I gotta be here because that's what my job is. But if you work from home and you're your own business person, you can just up and go move when you want to. Some for long, girl, they're gonna be doing bad because a lot of people gonna catch on and be like, nah. It has, it really was a blessing in disguise. Like, people make things out of nothing. Right. People Just making cakes. People making desserts. Um, so when you take him to daycare, do he cry? He don't look like a cry baby, though. No. Um, 
you did what you needed to do though. You came down here and got your stuff up and you got him. Cause that would have been hard. That would have been hard. Now my auntie, my favorite auntie, she, if I was close to her, she's just like a lot of support cause she loved to get the kids. And they love to go. She asked me, could she give them this summer? But I got to divide them between their dad and her then. Because they'll be here, too, because he's going to bring his babies. So they'll be here, like, the first part of that summer. Then I'm going to let them, because I know they haven't seen them. So where's that? Where did that live? In, a, in Atlanta. It's that part from where you pay your auntie? It's about two hours. So she come here, or when you come here? I don't even know, because it's just now getting a car, so I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, it, girl, he just do to me. Mm -hmm. It's too much for her, because I done practically raised him by myself. I think yeah, they still do. Yeah, because that's where he was when he was in, he was inside. Mm -hmm. You see me? So y'all gonna go to the science center today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably. It's so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Keep turning. Mm -hmm. Turn back to the front. Good job.